Finally, okay, it so is starting. I can't videos. wait. So this first series, I actually don't have strong attachments to the first two games playing. So I am just going to root for my Chinese people. So far, I have seen, I guess, more like 1.5 matches. The first one I didn't manage to finish because VP's game started, I guess, on time, which is good. They were the second match. They were part of the second series of the day. So right now there's four sets of matches, two at a time. And the second one just ended. So I might be only, I might be able to only watch one more. Um, during this break, I'm probably going to take a shower just so I get it out of the way during downtime. But it's 5 a.m and I need to be in at 7.30. So I will probably check traffic starting like 45 minutes before that, just in case. Like, I would like to think that leaving at seven will get me there on time, because actual time without traffic takes about 15 minutes, but you never know, people in California start their work day really freaking early. Okay, right now it's 5.49 a.m. And I've only seen, yeah, I guess what sucks about Dota is it's kind of hard for everything to be on time because some games might go long and it seems like I, oh man, I think I only have time for one more game and I'm not positive if I will even end up finishing it because I will need to keep it. I need to pay attention to the time and I need to check the traffic and everything. I originally was thinking of walking Riley, but it's like, I don't want to walk her at six in the morning, you know? It's so dark out, it's so cold. So luckily, she actually pooped earlier. That's pretty much a large reason why you walk your dog to stimulate them to poop because sometimes if you just wait around for them to poop, it doesn't always happen, so. Luckily, she pooped already, and I wasn't planning on coming back for lunch, so I think that takes care of good old Riley. Oh, okay, so. Uh, I feel kind of like crap. Part of feeling like crap is just like knowing that I feel very grimy. I uh, originally planned on only watching newbies games this morning. It's, um... 355 right now so they are doing an elimination match in the lower bracket right now against Navi so you know I gotta watch my favorite team one of my favorite teams not get knocked out because they somehow lost the best of one I mean anything can happen in a best of one so might have just been sucky but they lost <clears throat> so they're in the lower bracket and they are up 1-0 right now in a best of three so if they win it, they're solid. I really hope it does not go to three games because it just kind of, I think, pushes back the schedule. But yeah, so I didn't record at all yesterday because I just kind of like was in a rush to leave. I was up since 12 a.m. And then I got home at like close to five o'clock. So I was awake for seven, Teen hours <laughs> so I was I was feeling a little miserable because of it I wasn't able to sleep much yesterday and I couldn't fall back asleep so right when I got back I just cooked so I had some meal prep going on for tomorrow's lunch I read a little bit I normally don't have Riley sleeping with me but since she had been crated all day I did not come home for lunch yesterday um, I don't want to create her for an additional eight hours. So I just let her sleep in bed with me, which I normally don't do. And you know, actually, not really a big fan of her being in bed with me because I think it would add so much more dander and she has a lot of hair as well. So I, I already sometimes have trouble with my nose getting stuffy and I think it is because of her when she's not even in bed with me. So I don't want to make that 20 million times worse. I also like my space, so um, she just 
normally will always sleep in the crate. I pretty much like, I think I slept from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Um, and then I woke up very quickly to let her out to pee. And then I went back to sleep until 3.15. So I've been awake since then watching the games. I haven't talked about my day yet. <laughs> so my first day was, um, I guess like to be expected, there wasn't that much to do. Um, they had to set up my computer. When I first got there, they were getting me my card, my parking pass, and I kind of had to like wait around for a little bit because they called this HR lady who never showed up. So I was waiting around for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes before my manager came over and we just went back, even though she was still MIA, the HR lady. Kind of like walked me around, showed me the area, talked about people. Eventually, the IT guy came to set up my laptop and my desktop. So the interesting thing, it, it's just kind of interesting to me how like they just gave me so much shit. So I have like four monitors on my desk, which is way too much. I like two. <laughs> two is good for me, but um, I have a laptop and a desktop, which is good because I love desktops so much more than laptops. Fuck laptops. But laptop, I am just gonna like keep around for the times that I might potentially work from home. I don't like having excess shit on my desk, like those two extra monitors, but when I was talking to them about it, they're like, eh, just keep it just in case. So I'll keep them around, but I don't see them being used really. Yeah, first day is kind of like very draining, especially for someone like me. So since it's a new job, you know, I'm not trying to complain too much about needing to socialize. You know, going around and meeting everybody was tiring and repetitive. The only thing I found interesting whenever meeting those people was I always really take note of their handshakes. So some people are limp as fuck. <laughs> some people have like a decently firm grasp. And then there was actually one guy who squeezed too hard that surprised the crap out of me because I had never met somebody that squeezed way too hard. So normally my complaint is like someone that doesn't even put any tension or doesn't have any pressure in their grip. Like they just give you their hand and they leave it like this. But I like to do a little, the smallest squeeze, like not even, to, it won't hurt them. But this one guy fucking like kind of hurt me, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> and then I really just spent most of my day like reading over some documents. Um, they care a lot about safety at this place solar turbines if people are curious and That's another thing that's interesting. They have like a whole facility where they are putting together these turbines I think that's the proper way to say it. Yeah, it's just like forklifts dri driving around they've got like all these equipment everywhere so if you want to go to the cafeteria you have to walk through all of that stuff so it feels kind of like feels like I, I don't even I never know how to explain it because it kind of just feels like there's all this shit going on that you're very much not familiar with at a workplace so for example if I wanted to go to eat lunch at the cafeteria at my desk I walk out the door I have to go through a turnstile thing and then I have to follow a passenger path like they have designated lines on the ground for a pathway while you walk through the facility and you have to stay on that once you get into the facility area where they're putting these things together you have to wear safety glasses so you take one off the side you put them on you walk through get to the cafeteria you deposit them on the other end the glasses and then you're there but it's just you don't expect to have to do stuff like that at work right so i think all of, all of these random factors will add an interesting flavor to work. They have like five buildings there, so there's a lot of walking around if you want to. And I guess that's good too. Like there's a lot of places you can go if you wanna just take a break and walk around, which is nice. Yeah, during the day I was really, really, really tired. I mean, so I, I say like until 1 p.m. I was doing okay. But then after that, I was really struggling on my desk. And plus, I was also suffering 
in torment from the fact that these Dota games were going on and I had to use like my phone to watch them. Good morning, it is still Wednesday. So <laughs> earlier I watched my beloved new B20 Navi, which is also still a little sad because Lil, the player that used to be on Virtus Pro, got traded to Navi and I just, I like him. I don't like seeing him lose either. So I uh, woke up at around 7.30 and I don't really plan on going in until 9, after 9. I'm just going to be checking traffic to see when it dies down before I head in. But I actually really do enjoy having a lot of time before I need to go into work because you just feel like at ease. You can take your time with things. I always rush and I hate it. So today is good. It's kind of unnatural because it won't always be like that. But I am making some oatmeal for breakfast already showered so I don't feel grimy and disgusting anymore but um, I'm excited for my second day. Good afternoon. I'm home for lunch. <clears throat> so my shoes finally arrived today. I mentioned that I bought a pair of Uggs that were like sneakers. Um, just a more fashionable pair of flat shoes compared to just normal athletic sneakers which is all I have. So that's what I got. Another aspect that's kind of interesting about this job is the buildings are like kind of spaced far apart from each other so I'm not familiar with their building layout yet so I couldn't really find parking near the building that I work at so I ended up parking near the front and I actually checked on my phone with an app how far it is to get to my office and it was 0.18 miles so Earlier today, I had to do some HR stuff with my passport and the HR lady was in the main building. So I walked over there, realized that I didn't have my passport with me. So I had to walk back. Then I had to walk back to her desk and then walk back. And then I had to walk back to my car, which was near the main lobby. So basically I walked, I think I walked a mile going back and forth six times. Well, five so far, but when I get back, that should account for at least one mile of walking. Not bad, but when it comes to like normal, someone's calling me. Well, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, if anything changes, just let me know. I'll turn it off, okay? Okay, for sure. All right. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. These realtors are ruthless. It's actually so annoying because I show interest in one house just to look at it. And then when you don't go through with it, they just call you and call you and call you. And it's like, holy crap, I'm not the type of person to just straight up hang up on them. But I just don't like, I don't like it when they do that. Like they should understand if I ask them to be my realtor, that's a different story. But I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> Good evening. So I surprisingly stayed at work pretty late until like 7 o'clock because I was constantly checking the traffic from 6.30 onwards and I wanted no red on my map by the time I came home. And I mean it was a very enjoyable ride home and I thought that was great. But I actually spent a good amount of time reading today and I finished my book. Oh. The moment when I realized that I need to prepare another three days of Rylai's raw food always sucks because I have to cut it 
that big tube and it's half frozen so it's really annoying to work with but I uh, just got done playing like really hyped up I don't even know what you call it it doesn't seem like wrestling but I just like I kind of like push her around a little bit and then she just <laughs> she just plays very aggressive it's so cute but um, I am maybe going to eat some Lucky Charms. I don't know, I don't feel like eating like a legit dinner because I'm going to sleep soon, I would imagine. And then waking up for two very good matches tomorrow. I'm so glad that these two matches happen at three and then like roughly six o'clock. That way I can watch both before I go to work. Oh, thank God, thank God. But yeah, now I need to prepare her food after some much needed working out for her shuffling around the carpet and everything. <clears throat> hey. All right, let's take. Good girl. All right, off to bed we go.